evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are back on the channel with this uh, fantastic artist from Moldova, Lev Solomonovic. Hello, Lev. Nice to see you. Hello. You look great. I too. I too. Me too, we say. Me. <laughs> uh, you cannot be excellent everywhere in English and in Scarlatti, my friend. So, <laughs> okay. So, hello everybody on the chat, that are already a lot of people. Adi, hello Adi from Alsace, Chantal Brion, Herminio Valant, Mireille Dugard, la Dream Team est avec nous. Yuri Mihailovsky, who say bravo. Yes, I agree, Yuri, of course. And Franck Buir, salut à toi. Herminio Valant say wonderful. Yes, of course. Stella Canal, et très belle interprétation, je confirme. And Marcel Nouanai, bravissimo. Yes, of course. Um, <laughs> So for the small story, this uh, Scarlatti, it's, um, it's funny because we practice many times this Scarlatti when I go to uh, Switzerland on the conservatory in Lausanne to give lessons and it's very long ways, five hours. And during this time, I have a lot of time. So I put my telephone in front of me, but I don't look necessarily because I know that the movement makes the sound. So when I listen to wrong sounds, I know the wrong movement. So I don't have to look and then I don't fall asleep driving. So it's perfect. And, uh, and we practice and I say to you already, Lev, but I repeat that every time I listen to you, Ziscarlati, every time you are better and better. And the video you sent to me today is the first time I see it. And I must say that, wow, it's, um, it's, it's genial. Thank you. But you know me, you give me that, I want that. So more you give, yeah. more I give back and more I ask, of course. So we will begin to practice first the left hand because Scarlatti, all the time we speak about Scarlatti, we speak about harpsichord, we speak about the Baroque style, of course, and harpsichord and Baroque style, they have an interpretation imposed by the harpsichord himself, but also the resonance of the room itself. And we must, not copy the harpsichord. Thank you to make visit your bedroom. And it's very in order. I'm very happy that your room is in order. Thank goodness I didn't do the same myself. And um, uh, we need also to take care that when we play one music a style, can be Russian music, can be Italian music, Scarlatti or French music, we must take care about ourselves and we have some priorities. The first things we need to respect is the style imposed by the epoch and the original instrument. I don't want to say that we need to copy the harpsichord. I want to say that we need to take care to do things that are close to the articulation. Then the second things in priority that we have to do is to use our instrument, to use the quality of our instrument to make something adapted to the accordion, okay? And to use all this polyphony with sounds and wind instruments that are genial. And the last thing, it's you. The last thing on the order of importance, it's you. It's like when you build a house, first thing, you need to make the important things, the wall, the roof, okay, the window, okay. Then after, let's say that this is the Baroque style that we have to respect. After the instrument, we could say that, okay, it's uh, the painting, the isolation, all the things that arrive after when you build a house. And the last thing, which is you, it's the decoration of the house, okay? You have the basic things, a house, you need to be sure that the wall will not fall, it will not rain inside. Then you need to be sure that it's comfortable, not wind, nothing, warm. And the last thing, it's the beauty, the decoration, okay? So many times the accordion is, unfortunately, we forget this order of priority. And first be, we think about ourselves that I am Frédéric Deschamps and I want to play like Frédéric Deschamps wants. No. I cannot, or I compose my own music, okay? You understand the process? So that helps a lot yeah. when you play something, first to practice the priorities, second priorities, and at the end, with all the respect of all these important things, Lev Solomonovich like the cherry on the cake. Oh, 
That's nice. And hello, Luca Bello. And Luca Bello, yes, I will say at the end, you will remind to me, Luca, but there is a concert of Luca Bello at nine in uh, two hours. Uh, it will be online and I will give you the link. But Luca Bello, can you write the link on the chat that the people can see? Luca Bello is the winner of the uh, International Open Trophy minus 14 in uh, classical uh, version. And uh, he will play with orchestra tonight. Be superb concert. He's very, very nice uh, musician, very sweet artist. And his teacher is also fantastic. So nice combination. So now why I speak about the left hand is because the left hand gives the whole temperament of the music, okay? So, you feel perfectly the one, two, three, one, two, three. But, like many French accordionist players, when they play a French valse, they play it like that. Yes, but what, what is that? That are the steps of the dancer, okay? It's when they dance. And if they, if they dance like that, it's because they have very big shoes to go on the field, fields, not to go on the ballroom to dance. When you want to dance, you need to have lighter shoes. So you need to, for the valve, you need to make. Exactly the same on Scarlatti. Scarlatti didn't compose the music for dancing, but Scarlatti composed on the style of dancing these 555 sonatas. Okay, so can you play please the left hand for me now? Left, and I put my from the beginning, yes, it's the same everywhere. So Okay, you have that's very nice. That's very nice because I remember that the last time before was a little bit more heavy. Now it's sensation of f uh, light. But but um, I listen. A little bit too much melodic, I think. It, it's not the moment to use the left hand as a melody, but we need to use it as uh, exactly rhythm of dance. Okay. Pam, pam, pam. The sounds cannot be legato anywhere on the left because each palm, 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 each beat, each sound is a different step. So you don't dance like that. So it cannot be legato. It's palm, 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 and not pia, pa, pa, pa. Okay. So try again and dance with your wrist on the left hand. Palm, palm, palm. Pam pim pam pam pim pam 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 pam. It's yes. Now it's not legato, but you use too much the bellow. You use too much the bellow to make ti ta ti. The problem is the right hand make na da ti ta ti ta ti ya da ti ta ti ta ta, and we cannot do that on the left. Okay, so it must be absolutely pam pam pam. Pum, 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 pum. Don't make nothing with the bellow for the moment. Okay. Okay. The, the, before the ti ta ta ta, make the last bar before. Each step is different. Pi, pa, pi. And pim, pam, pam, every sound have a resonance. First one is no. good. The first one is good. Pam, only make this bar. Pam. And the second beat and the third beat cannot be that dry. It cannot be dry, my friend. It's impossible because you have the resonance of the harpsichord. So we need to feel the team, hum, hum. Now, so listen, I will do it on the right hand because um, I have a free bass accordion now, but uh, it's too heavy to, to make the lesson, so. 
Um, I see. Okay? It's small resonances all the time. Yes, listen. It's, the resonance cannot be by the bellow who stops, but must be by the finger who is very slow to go out. Okay? Only with things, yes? Not be with the bellow. No, no, no. It's the finger who press a little bit the button and go out slowly because you do too much. You don't take care about the end of the sound, but you should be... be... Okay, yes. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. And the first sound, the first sound is a little bit more... The Sorry, first... Mike. Yeah, yeah, it's my connection, don't worry. The first sound is a little bit more expressive by the release, the end of the sound. It's... Uh... But a little bit longer. On the scores, it's written. I show the scores now. It's written legato. But this is the original version of Scarlatti for harpsichord. But the the legato of a harpsichord cannot be a legato of the accordion because what is written is. But we cannot because a harpsichord will not have that sound. A harpsichord will have. Okay. Okay. And after, so wait, I don't see nothing. It's a far. Yeah. So. It's no. a little bit too much dry because all the time you put one sound with a harpsichord, we have the resonance of the harpsichord, so it will be not staccato. But it's not legato. It's not staccato. It's a. Okay. Yeah, do it more slowly and feel that you can control every release of the sound to make a connection, a kind of virtual connection, not a real connection like... And this is always a problem of people who have big talent like you, you have fast finger, but you need to use the fast finger to take all the time they have to go slowly out of the sound, okay? So they don't be rushed and this. And at the tempo. Okay, it's like connection between, there is a small silence, but progressive. Okay? Yes. Okay, and at this tempo, because you have a lot of time, try to make them nearly legato at one millimeter of the keyboard. Nearly legato, okay? If there is a very small thing between, but not, not like you did, because you know when you do something slowly, fast, you will never have the time. So if you do, fast will be, but if you do, Sorry, my accordion. Fast will be. Ole! Like imitation of attack of the sound, resonance, make a legato, not legato. Okay. Slowly, yes? Slowly, yes. And after we play fast. Yes, of course. And now because you press a lot, there is a kind of distortion, but you will not have when you play fast. So now can you, can you try to play? Okay. Ah, and I listen to the sound of the mechanic. As if I listen to the sound of the mechanic, that means the fingers goes out too fast. 
It's not 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 out. It's... A little bit more close sound. I don't want to say legato, but a little bit more legato, but on the super uh, superficie of the keyboard, on the surface of the keyboard. No, 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 no. It's still. I want. M more close sound. Bonjour Pascal. More close, more staccato or what? No, 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 more legato. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. Oui, okay. And now to have the temperament, you know the cherry of the cake, like I said before. Okay, now you have the style because you have the imitation of the articulation. Now, left, you will play like left if you move like left on the Scarlatti spirit. So you can make. A little bit, a little bit temperament like that. Okay. Yeah, of course, this is exactly what I want. Bravo. Okay. Um, the right hand now. Can you play only the two, the two first bars? Yes. Okay. So slowly, I would like to listen something, something like. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the Scarlatti. I too. <laughs> me too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I too. Tarzan. Me, Tarzan. I, Tarzan. You, Fred. <laughs> okay. And now listen. Because of the beats. Ta, 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 ti, ta. The first beat is on the ground. The second beat is on the middle sky. The third eight is on the top sky level. So that higher, like the movement of the dance, to go down on your feet. So listen the differences between each sound. My precious. <laughs> yes. Yes, but, yes, but. Okay, you, you listen to the relation with the sound? Yeah, 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 fight. Fight with the family. For the two first bar, small problem on the third bar. It's um, because it's the end, and because you are musician, so very musician. So you you feel the going down of the melody. So the articulation is a little bit less with quality when you go down with your bellow because you stop a little bit too much bellow, and then the keyboard are a little bit softer because you you stop to 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 make the section of the clapet like I say all the time, and then it's a little bit too much. But I, I would prefer the... Okay, you listen, the, uh, uh, there is a life, a beginning, an evolution, and the end on every sound. <laughs> yes, and the trillo, a little bit more. The beginning. Whoa, you are genial. Um, be careful because you are a strong boy. If you do that, it will, it, not that, that movement will push too much the sound, okay? If you want to move, it's more, more on the right or the left, but more stay up with eyebrows and head. Yes, and it was perfect. And in one moment you did that and the finger has been ejected. 
It was perfectissimo. It was papi, 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 plum, because you did that. Okay, be, be sure that your movement of body is the same of the trilo. Ah, ah, I was blocked. Okay, go up. Ah, and at the end, you make too much. At the end, you need to relax. Okay, so we make the trill, expect the trill long like that and stop at the end the bellow before. No, no, because this is very interesting mistake. No, because, and this is the same for everybody on the run when we begin a run. The secret is on the relation between the second sound and the third sound. The secret is there, he said. You know if the trilo will be good if you find it, the relation between the sections of the clapets and when the first one, second, third, on the second, third begins the real accelerando, when you feel that it's a small crescendo that will make... Okay, and not your finger will say, go, 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 go faster! No, because now you are in conflict. <laughs> you, you are in conflict, so it's really... Uh, I, I move too much. Okay, and when you feel the climax, up, stop your bellow, and then it's like a reverence. Okay. It's much better, but the quality of the first one was a little bit... Uh, I played the first, and after... Yep. So, it's... Ah. Your all scarlatty, all scarlatty from the beginning to the end, it's really life. That means begin baby, adult, go die. Every sentence, it's a story about the life. Every bars, it's also again round, a story about the life. But every sound, it's again like you have the hearse, okay? And after you have the molecules inside the, um, uh, what's the name, atom, I don't know, atom, it's round. Everything is round, the minimalist and the maximalist. Okay, so begin your first sound, your trillo is round. So the first sound is. Ah, and after I stop my below. Okay, champagne. Yes. Very good, but now I want Lev Solomonovich now on the trillo. So it's your face, your attitude that will make the difference because you play so much light that every single movement, like you did before, make cauchemar on your music, on your trillo. But every small quality of you, like finesse, like we said the last lesson, you are an angel, all these small things will make the difference. No, no, no. The end of the trillo is fantastic because you begin too, too strong after you relax and you go. The first one is like a small... Uh, make only the first sound. Uh, yes, and hello, dear Jonas Vosbutas. Yes, you know that lesson, Jonas, I think. You heard about and, and you played fantastic. Okay, again now, the first sound, second, da -da -da -da, and after what you do on the first sound, you do on the general trillo. Yes. Uh, yeah, but don't wait to be stiff to stop the trillo, okay? And because it's the accelerando is made by the crescendo, if you stop the crescendo, then you are uh, like uh, running on the on the ground uh, too soaked, okay? So it's really feel about the direction of your trillo. It and when you arrive at the climax, resonance. Yes, it's a little bit mechanic because you don't dare to give me something on the first sound. Because your body is your reflexes that make a little bit um, cauchemar on the first sound. Because your reflex, think about the trillo. But you must begin to think by the first sound. And the second sound 
if you think about the second sound, it calms you down and you listen to the quality of the beginning. And if the quality of the beginning from the beginning is genial on the surface of the keyboard, after you have the bravo. So everything is one, but okay. not only one, it's one, two. Okay, it's better because you did so legato the beginning that after you were so close to the keyboard that it worked, but still not so beautiful. The Make the three first sound like that. One, two, three. Yeah, remember what I say to you, the movement makes the sound. But now, because I ask you that precise things, the movement is not the movement of your fingers. They do nothing. They do nothing, your fingers. And I don't want to see your finger. I don't need to see your finger. The only things will be because you don't press, because you don't move, because you don't move so much the bellow, but everything minimal is here. Because this part, as I say, at every lesson to everybody in the world, this part is the computer of your body. If you are like that, you make crispation to everything. If you are like that, you open your bellow. Yes, 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 exactly. And now make that beginning plus a trill. Yes, 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 that is lovely. And now begin with a bit more piano to have the evolution of the life, like a beautiful baby attitude in the middle. Nice strong man at the end, in the middle. And at the end, you die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't die fast enough. <laughs> life, life is not that long. You know, if life is too long in one moment, it's, it's not so good. <laughs> so, so in one moment, it must finish. Okay. When it's the end, it's the end. Don't try to continue. <laughs> so make it more. I don't want to die. <laughs> but it's an image, my friend. Of course not. You have time. You have plenty of time to don't think about. <laughs> Hello, George Tanimirinov from Bulgaria. Yeah, and more, more elegant. You, more elegant. You play Scarlatti. Yes, but um, I feel that your fingers are stronger than your mind. Your fingers yes. are stronger than your mind because you don't impose them the quality of every first sound and the accelerando. When it begins, it begins. Fingers say, well, yeah, we know, we know, we got fast, we do trillo. No, no, but this is good for folklore or for other things, but not for there. So it's really, your brain is fast, is stronger. It decides, pom, pim, pom, pim, pom, pim, pra. And I see if your brain decides because your brain is under your head. If you move your head correctly, <laughs> it's perfect for the fingers. And fingers are the slave of your brain, not the contrary. <laughs> Okay, so the trillo, you always, always focus on the trillo. The trillo is something that you have. It's very good. It's the beginning that is still not good because you don't move on every sound. It's like a singer, like um, Philippe Jarowski, all the time. He, when you see his face, it, so it's... You see, the, it's like, it's my head who slow me down the fingers. Elegant. I want the same for Christmas, my friend. Okay, <laughs> so it's very interesting to practice absolutely on the detail, okay? Because now it's not only the trillo that you practice, it's the whole relation with your instrument because now you are absolutely much more on the surface of the keyboard with the work we did on the left and the work we did now on the trillo. Now you will play that super technique, I think, which is, I, I use it for myself now. Uh, to make slowly accelerando slowly, to make everything on your brain clear. So you will make that first on each bar. Okay, both hands right and left together, but one by one you begin, you stop, you begin slowly, you accelerate and you stop. Try. Okay. <laughs> what? It's simple. No, slowly, actually, not slowly. Slowly, actually, not slowly. Every bar. Yes. Uh, 
<laughs> it's not, not simple. <laughs> no, try again. I will show you after. I make video of you now. Go. Okay, so <laughs> listen that. Uh, how to do to do it good? You will see that. I don't know if I do that. People will see. Yeah, everybody will see. Listen carefully the relation between the one, two, three, two, three. Okay, the accelerando on the each bars. Listen. Okay, I repeat from the beginning because I missed the beginning. The brain is a, an accelerando. It just belong to the, the idea to go faster and faster. That means on six sound, one, two, three, four, five, six, the quality of the accelerando is belong to the number two. And this is this famous number two that you don't take care because you make pi ta ti ta ti ta, pi ta ti ta ti ta. And in fact, it's ti ta ti ta ti ta, ti two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? I do it around very fast, yes. Yeah, 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 because you take time on the first one and after you give all. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Timothy. Thank you. Big job, big people. <laughs> And you see on the trillo you did instead of and the one bar before the end you did uh uh, yes, si bemol, si sol mi do si sol, but you didn't do si sol mi. I want to say that the second one is much more important than the first one. Yes, because this is this is a rubato. A rubato is long, still long, less long, short, 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 short long, 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 long. Okay, and finally on six sound the before the end. Then the second one, the, the quality of that gives the exact rubato. Okay, try again. Yes. No, 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 again. Ta ti ta ti ta. No. Ta ti ta ti ta ti. And, and it's because of your talent. Because your talent is your movement and reflex. And this reflex, they don't want to wait because they know what to do. And your body now is fighting against my ideas, which is to slow down on the number two. Because this is something that we need to know. All the time when you practice, the reflex will protect you always against the new information. Because the, the human body wants to keep what he is, what he has, his experience. Yeah, but if you want to improve, you need to break something and to replace by something else. And that's why the body doesn't like so much. So, <laughs> so one more time, you are you're here, you are a red devil and a white angel, you know? <laughs> the red one, devil, that one is reflex. You say, yeah, I know, I know, I do what I want. And the angel say, what about that? Look, it would be cool. And the angel say, no. <laughs> <laughs> be stronger, angel. Yes. <laughs> yes. So first bar genial, second bar genial, fourth bar genial, and the third bar idiot. <laughs> 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 because it looks like an arpeggio and arpeggio your body say oh arpeggio i know i know i know ti ta 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 no no it's team pam 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 pim pam do only the third bar please yes 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 it's exactly what i wanted exactly that okay now from the beginning uh, before we played it 
Make slowly activate random three, but two bars by two bars. Bien, bien, bien. I like, I like, I like. Uh, can you do just before we play fast? Because if everything is in order after, we don't think because new reflex are in activity. Can you do this only the left hand? Because you know that I'm with you, especially because you have such technique, such natural talent that we are not to be afraid with the right hand, but the style is the left hand. So. Okay. Uh, the first bar, the third beat, the third eighth, the sol si bemol was e, di, e, because it's the accelerando in the middle, so it's the fastest part. And what you do, e, because the fingers say, oh, I have to live very fast to take the other sound. No, 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 you are super fast, you are superman. So it takes the time to finish and after you have plenty of time to go, okay? <laughs> and the same with the arpeggio at the end, tim, pom, pim, pom, pom. Yes, yes, yes. Tin tan tin tan ta. Not tin tan tin tan ta. Tin tan tin tan ta. Second one. Yes. And the third bar is not legato. It's tim pom. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, it's like it's not bad. All, all. Now you play all, and you think from the beginning to the evolution of the intonation in the middle until the arrival. In the fast tempo? Like I sing. I sing. I mean, uh, it's a big name to say sing, but uh, <laughs> like I show. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so one more time, the guide, the guide, it's uh, the angel inside you and it is everywhere outside also, but show it more now because when now I say plus, play and you say, ah, the fast tempo, what you say, what you think, ah, I go, no, 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 you let go your finger, but the general light motif is elegance. So, and not, Ouais, yes, I arrive. No. Salut Laurence Froissart, bisous Laurence Froissart. Yes, next. Coming back. Yeah, and uh, uh, you need to to show at this moment, you know, Bach and Scarlatti is the first one who invented the, reason, the um, second minor, the second minor. When you arrive to the resolution, the resolution is, but they make the second minor before. And it's very new and it's the time to show it. Uh, push it, but push it from down to up to give all the importance and after make the resolution. Yeah, from down to up. Uh, from down, 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 and uh, from zero. Uh, okay. So there is an exercise, very nice to do. Uh, <clears throat> it's not that easy, but you will press the button, but uh, I, I don't want in general that you press the button, okay? But for the exercise, ah, connection now just at that moment disappears, of course. Uh, it's coming back or not? You listen to me? Yeah. Okay. So you must all your wind, press the button, and then it's only your length who will make the sound coming back, like that.
You understand? It's just an exercise. It's an exercise to to make the relation be an exercise to make the relation between your breath and your playing, but also to listen carefully the beginning of the sound. So I repeat because connection was a little bit bad, but now it's okay. I make I blow my hair. I press the button, and now look. It's the, the, the body who is going full of air, bigger, who push your instrument and make creating the sound. And when you do the contrary, it stops the sound. Try. No, 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 I didn't play, I just, just in one sound. And it, it, you did too much. It's what I want. It's the beginning of the first movement of the reeds. Listen, nothing, nothing like my connection. I, I, Okay, I know that it's a not good connection now, but I think you saw. Try. No. Okay, very good for the end, but not from the beginning, because from the beginning it's like the train goes and you run and jump on the train, you know? <laughs> it's like, Shh, up. No, no. It's, we need to listen to the beginning of the birth of the sound. Listen, it's not but You understand? It's from zero. The way, like in contemporary music, when we do this effect in so many pieces. Yes. It's 50% better, but there's still 50% that, that I need. Uh, try to really begin from more than zero and listen the first beginning of the read. Really. This is genial because you learn how to control your sound from zero. And it's not like fatality, I press. No. The end is good, but the beginning is still too fast. You understand? Uh, how many reads do you use? One or two reads on your switch? One, one. Yes. One, one. Okay. Uh, do it when you push, perhaps. When you push, push. When you push. When you close. Do it the exercise. Okay. You understand that the sound arrives from zero, and it's not like zero plus. It's zero plus a little bit, a little bit. No. Minor. It arrived too fast. Yes. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You understand? And uh, we have a comment by Frenchman Herminio Valente who say, I think I succeeded. I'm too happy. It's the birth of the sound. So he did the exercise himself during the lesson and uh, he did it. Great, Herminio. Bravo. On entend un peu d'air avant le son, puis il arrive tout doux. Oui, oui, bien sûr, Herminio. C'est tout à fait normal. C'est que c'est d'abord, tu entends l'air, mais il n'est pas assez puissant pour faire bouger l'ange. Et à un moment, petit à petit, tu entends un petit son bizarre et après, ça vient. Voilà. Et donc, ça, c'est super. OK. Now you will play. And you stop. Oh no, sorry. You stop. And now you make. Both hands. Uh, 
you stop before the effect. Okay. When I say you stop, you really stop. You stop like no da tito tito. And uh, Herminio, really what you said is like when you sing it, if you want to have the exact sound is and the air does exactly the same. First you have the power of the wind and after arriving the movement. Okay, uh, again. Okay. Yeah, that's the idea. And now be careful because now you really think to stop, but you forget to be sweet and elegant on the whole sentence. Okay? So try again from the beginning. Play the first sentence with beautiful trillo. Be active on your face on the trillo. And after, play the coming back. You open one sentence and you close one sentence. This is what you do when you play it or not? Um, not a, Yes, I do this. Do that. Yes. Okay, so do it. Do it, but very sweet, and think about the evolution of the life that begins slow, baby, adult, die, baby, adult, die. Or like the, if you don't want to think about the death, you think about the day. The day is the sun, the sun, the sun. It's cold, it's warm, it's cold. Okay, okay, and now we practice the effect at 200%, but now just do it. Little bit, just a little bit intention, okay? It must look natural. And be careful when you play, you will still have the rubato in your skin. Always, especially in all Baroque music, we need absolutely to have the rubato in your skin. That means important on the Baroque style is the beat, the first one of each bar. But what is between can be always the first beat is there. But what you do between is not, it's not mechanic. Okay, you can choose what you want. And uh, when I was a um, teacher in Paris Conservatory uh, from 95 to 2002, something like that, I had the opportunity to organize some masterclass with real harpsichord, specialized of Baroque music. And also lute, lute, you know, this old guitar, clang, 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 clang. And I really wanted to know because I didn't know nothing about Scarlatti and these things. And yes, what you learn in conservatory at school, but I didn't know so much. And I wanted to have the point of view of the uh, specialized of that music. Some people say, ta 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 uh, okay, but it's this stuff. And the other one was extravaganza. Absolute extravaganza. Okay. Finally, what I learned from that is okay, you do that, you do absolutely opposite, you do again something else. Okay, finally, do what you want. But with the respect of what you hear from the harpsichord and the, have this uh, accordion, which is a wind instrument, what do the singers when they sing Baroque style is very important to, to take care about. Okay. So, uh, now you will play all the first part and just take care about your attitude, your Baroque attitude. Okay, so play the all and all uh, the first part of Scarlatti. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so, my friend, uh, tomorrow morning we have uh, again uh, a lesson at 11.40, something like that. Do you have time to practice accordion tomorrow morning? Yes. Uh, it's 11 uh, in French time, yes? Yeah, 11. We, I begin at 11, but your lesson will be at 11.40, 45, something like that. Okay, yes. I have time uh, to practice uh, Scarlatti? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we did on the... Uh, uh, you should, tomorrow, forget that you can play accordion. Okay. <laughs> and this, but this is something uh, something that we should have on consideration when you take the accordion to practice. We must begin by, okay, I don't know. I don't know nothing, okay? Every day. Like you build your technique again. When you want to practice a trillo, first is... Uh, uh, okay, but this is my arm because it's not my finger, so... And after, and, okay, like push-ups, okay, and after, and after, and after. And after, yes. after, slowly accelerando, slowly, with no stress and no crispation, no tension. With no power, nothing. And after. Okay. That, that, it's yes. A, it's really the cleaning of your body, the connection, the cleaning of your fingers. The, the, I mean, the cleaning the... You practice the power, you take care about the tension of the bellow with who makes the tension of the keyboard. And after you make slow, one fast, the other ta da di ta di and after ta di da ta di ta da di ta di ta and after pam pim pam pim pra pim pam pim pra and after slowly without but with the fingers totally relax after. Not like that. Because this doesn't work is And after, when you play, don't try to block your fingers on the trillo, never is. Okay, let them fly when you play the trillo. Okay. okay. This end, when you will do that, when you will practice, I still don't see nothing, but it's a little bit far away. So, you will have to practice. Uh, okay, play octava lower, but... Sorry. Trillo with my Okay. Very, yes. very listen each sound. everywhere and after but not legato okay really yeah. exaggerate that and we will spend five minutes on, on that but do it everywhere okay <laughs> okay yes because it because you know how to play accordion super good you know how to play scalati super good but now i want to see you know the cherry on the cake that i was speaking about you need to be everywhere on every sound at the beginning of every sound at the evolution of every sound at the end of every sound for the moment you are too much the slave of your fingers and you can evaluate absolutely okay my friend yes so uh, and after tomorrow tomorrow we practice a little bit scarlatti but just five minutes and we practice the um, vals you wanted to play Bye. French touch, yes. French touch from Galliano. Okay, my uh, friend. Richard. Yeah, yeah, French touch of Galliano. Okay, of course. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, tomorrow we'll practice, yes? Tomorrow we'll practice that, yes, because now it's already one hour and um, and I, I need to go and milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, no, but I, 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 I don't. Okay. To, I don't want to make more than, than one hour all the time because it's uh, quite long for the lessons after. Um, we will finish by uh, one archive of uh, Semyonov. You know this uh, Doom Car Rhapsody. Uh, what? Uh, Doom Car Rhapsody from Semyonov, Ukrainian Rhapsody. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, so I will play it now from uh, 92. So uh, you can follow uh, in an archive when I win Klingenthal, when I was baby like you. So we will, oh. we will listen that now, so you can look on, uh, on Facebook. Okay, now? so now, now. So, Lev, bye, see you tomorrow, and uh, okay. pra practice good, okay? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Uh, okay, bye-bye. So yes, I found a video of uh, archive when I was 22 and uh, when I won this fantastic competition of Klingenthal that was a dream to, to, to do. And uh, Klingenthal was a partner, uh, who is a partner on the CMA and was uh, my guest uh, last uh, week. Very interesting, very interesting with Stéphane Hussong. And now we listen. Jean-Marc Herroir, salut. Il y a bien longtemps que tu n'avais pas vu un accordéon. Ben oui. Euh, ben, tu vas me voir en 92 là tout de suite. Et euh, Mermigno, je pense qu'il va te plaire le morceau qui suit. So I think you will enjoy that music because it's um, absolutely crazy from Semyonov and it's genial like all the music of Semyonov. Uh, let's go from 92, the uh, second round of Klingenthal. Go. And see you tomorrow morning for the... Holland International Live Show with Johnny Carey, the accordion singer that was so lovely on the International Trophy, uh, Richard Galliano, uh, the last uh, 2020 CMA online. Bye bye, see you tomorrow and enjoy this uh, seminar. It's so funny to see that for me years after. <laughs>